Hello, this is Christy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve a cool animated text typewriting effect in Camtasia. This is maybe simple and probably you've seen it before where a text shows up on the screen letter by letter and it, it seems like it's being typed on a typewriter. This is what we will achieve and I'll show you at the end a nice cool way to make it even more interesting. So let's just start simple. I have a project here and by the way I am doing this in Camtasia 2021 which is coming out next week so it should work in previous versions of Camtasia because the effect we will use is available in previous versions but just to tell you I'm very excited about Camtasia 2021 and I have an advanced copy which I'm going to design this in but there's nothing new in here that you can't use in the previous ones except for the last bit at the end I'm going to show you. Let's just uh, use this project. I have a project here just by default. It's an HD project and just to simulate paper I'm gonna turn the canvas to white or kind of gray, light gray like this. We will just use a simple annotation and I'm gonna show you go to annotations and use the text annotations and just copy this here this main text one I'm just going to make it fill the whole canvas here just to explain it doesn't have to be like this and I'm going to change the color to something like this. To simulate this text that is on a typewriter I'm going to use a, a nice font called Prestige Elite. You can use something like Curia or something else that looks like a typewriter text. I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to just type this text in here. Typewriter text effect in Camtasia full stop. Let's see how this works. You can see this text is centered. You can leave it like this. You can align it to the left and kind of pull it in. It's up to you. You can change this later of course. I'm going to make it a bit larger just so we can see the effect easier. And now let's apply this typewriter text effect. So to achieve this effect, I'm going to use something called behaviors. In Camtasia, on the left menu, you have this behaviors. If you click there, you can see there are many types of behaviors. And these are really just ways for text to come in on screen, you know, like in, out, and, you know, some animation that's happening while the text is on the screen. So we will use the behavior called fly in. I'm going to apply this to my text. And let's see what this one does. It just brings the text in like this. Obviously this is not a typewriter text effect so we need to do some tweaks. If you look on the right side to properties you will have the properties for visual for the whole clip. You have the text font and everything else but then you have the behavior properties here and this is the fly in behavior we added. So you have three states here. What happens when the text comes in? What happens during the animation so while the text is on the screen? And what happens when the text is about to leave the screen? First of all, we want nothing to happen during and nothing to happen on the text going out. So we want the text to just stay on the screen like this. What we need to tweak is the in animation. At the moment, the in animation does this, which is not what I want. It just scales in like this, all three line at a time. So we will need to change this to be the following. The type of animation, so you've got the style here, which is the fly in. You have the type. It says your text left to right. What we want is every letter to be animated. So click here, select text and say first to last, which means it's going to act animate every letter from the first one to the last one, regardless of what line it's on. Secondly, we want to change the movement to not be linear but smooth and then we need to change the speed and duration. The speed is about 90% which still shows the text flying in so I'm going to move that to 100 which means it's going to be the fastest possible and I'm not going to see actually the animation happening. I'm just going to see the letter showing up and then finally the offset is changing the delay between each character and I'm going to make that maximum to about two seconds. It's not going to happen much because it's going to show up. So let's see now if this works, what we have achieved. As you can see, 
every letter appears by itself on the screen. At the very end, we have the final letters and you can notice there is a problem here. This is something that I have not been able to tweak. No matter how I tweak the speed or the offset, the very last character doesn't stay on screen. It is there, but it doesn't stay on screen. Because look, if I move here and I put the speed to slower, you can see it coming in, the last character. So for that, I'm actually gonna do a copy of this. So at the very last frame, the full stop character is there, but I can't see it because the clip's just finished. So I can make a copy of this, Control C, Control V. So now this is on the screen. And for the copy that you see here, the second, the copy of this clip, I'm gonna remove the behavior altogether. So now I can see the screen. So then I have two copies of this clip, one that deals with the animation and one that stays on the screen until the end, until, you know, for as long as I like, because this one is static. So watch what happens now. The whole animation is playing. Every letter comes in. I tweak the speed here, so I have to go back to make it maximum speed. And then it just finishes and you can see it staying there. Now, this is one way to do this. Again, as I said, if you need to, cho to change it, like aligning or you know, changing the colors or the font, whatever, you're free to do so. But remember, you need to make a copy at the end and put it at the end there. And then you will have a static copy, which you will remove the behavior for. You can actually take this to a whole new level by creating different types of animations and by, for example, adding a texture for paper. So this is now finished, the tutorial but I'm gonna show you some tricks and some nice cool things that I did with my copy of it to add a bit of realism if you really have time to spend on this. One thing to do is you can actually change the alignment to be on the left or, you know, center that I said, and you can make the text actually move with every line originating in the center because on a normal typewriter, every letter is generated in one point and then the paper moves. It, the paper moves left after every character and it moves up after every line. This is one way to do it. You can align the text to the left. Let's delete the static one for now because we're gonna do some tweaks to this one. So I move in to the left and also let me make it smaller. The whole thing is smaller now. And maybe the text is a bit smaller. Watch what happens now, because this is the final, the final position of my text, maybe, like here. So if I go to the end, that's my text. I can go and cut off every single line into an individual clip. And this is nice because Camtasia will retain the animation, the behavior that reveals the letters exactly as it is in the point where you cut it off. So what I mean is, if I move my playhead here to the start, I have the first line coming and I can use these frame buttons to go back one, two, three or five frames or whatever until I finish the first line. And here I select the clip and press S to slice it. Then I'm going to go to the second line again, go to the very end of the line select this and slice again with the S key. So now, even though I have three clips with the same text on them, look at the animation here. Every line still works as it was working before. So all I can do now is I can animate these to move with the, like the carrot on the typewriter. So the first clip would be, and to use this, you know, you could use probably some guides. So this is the first line. Normally you want this line to be in the middle. Normally you would have a line. So let's use an annotation. I'm going to just use a line here and I'm going to put this line in the center of my scene like this. And I'm going to use another one, a vertical one, and again, put it on the center like that. 
So I'm going to assume that my typewriter caret runs from here. So now, of course, I, I can take these two lines and just spread them to the start and the end. Don't worry about these because we will remove them at the end. We're just using them as guides. So now I'm going to go to the first clip and watch what happens. If I put this clip here, so the letter T is going to be in the middle like that. That's the first letter. I'm going to create an animation here to move this text to the left while it's typing. So go here to animations. You can go to animation tab and drag a custom animation with this selected clip. I'm just going to put the animation on it like that. I may zoom in a bit to help me with accuracy and pull this animation to the very end like this minus one frame. And now for this final step of the animation, I want my text to be at the end of the letters. So at the end of the line, use the arrow keys and move this text like this. So this is your final letter. So watch what happens now. As the animation is running, the text is moving. But you need to change the animation to not be easing, to not have easing, because uh, by default, Camtasia has easing on the animations, which makes them speed up and slow down. So you go right click on the animation, enable easing and select linear. So now the speed will be constant. Watch how this works. You can see always the current letter is in the middle, in the center of the scene. So this is one point. Now for the second text, when you press return on a typewriter, the line moves to the top, moves up. So you get another line. Again, we will do the same thing here. We will position this with the arrow keys. You can use the arrow keys, select the second clip, start with this line, with this character here like this, and then we will add an animation on it and start at the east, at the beginning there. And the end of the animation is going to see my text. Again, use the arrow keys. If you need to move it faster, use the shift key as well. So this is going to move like this here. After this letter, we have another return, which means the text moves up again. So we will have this and I'm going to move the whole text at the top and starting here with the character I. And then again, another animation on it like this. And at the very end, the text is going to be in the all the way to the left on the last character here. So there we go. Don't forget to right click enable easing and turn it to linear here and also here to make it move at the speed. Look what happens now. So the typing happens always in the middle, right? So now what we can do is in Camtasia 2021, you can add another effect called motion blur. You can have this in the visual effects. And if you scroll down, you have motion blur here. We want to add this to all three lines of clips of text like that. So now, when it's moving, you notice it's a little blurry. So that gives it a bit of realism. So let's play it again. Depending on how fast your animation is, the text is going to go. So at the very end, of course, we want to get one frame of the final text. Depending if you want to go to move this text in the middle somehow, or just leave it like this. And I'm going to just select this and cut a little slice of it and extend this, which means I'm going to just remove the behavior. And this is going to be my text that's going to stay when it's done. Now I don't need my guidelines. I'm going to remove them. Another thing you can do to add realism is to add a paper texture. So behind this text, I'm going to right click on this track and say, insert track below. So in here, I'm going to add a paper texture. I'm going to zoom out a bit and I've downloaded a white paper texture from Unsplash. I'm just going to drag that in here. It is a JPEG and I'm going to la make it last the whole duration. Of course, I need to resize it a bit. So I'm going to zoom out, hold down the control key and 
put it kind of here like a, like a page you will only be able to see what's in the scene so that's what you're gonna see so now my effect is really nice but the thing is the paper needs to move with the text so <laughs> there you have it we need to do the same animation to the paper I know this tutorial is getting long so feel free to check out anytime but let's try and make this more realistic now I'm going to go at every point where my text is stopping you know changing the clips and select my paper and click S to slice it so now this is going to be an individual clip although it's in the same place so what I can do is I can create another animation before I do this though I may need to undo and scale it up because I need my paper to be as large as I am zooming I am moving left to right because if I move it left then I'm gonna have no more paper left so maybe because this is a landscape image that I have I'm gonna just turn it 90 degrees like this and then I'm free to move it sideways without having the edges cut off so I'm gonna place it here again let's zoom back in here so now I have my paper I'm gonna move and slice it here one time so this one is gonna animate with the text so again this clip that I just cut I'm gonna go to animations and add a custom animation to it and move it here to align with the text animation and now I'm going to move it to the left it doesn't really have to be exactly the same distance remember to right click enable easing linear so now my page is kind of moving together with the text if you need to move it a bit more just click and uh, use the arrow keys to make it track the text more or less we don't have to be exact science right here because when this is moving you will hardly see anything moving to the next one the next bit is now the paper has to move up and then left again so I'm gonna move this paper high like this a bit you know kind of the amount of one page go here to between these two clips and slice the page to this page here I'm gonna add a custom animation just doing this quickly okay stopping here right click enable easing linear and move it with the text about the same length let's see seems to be a bit slow you know normally you would have to move these together with the text so I guess I should have done this before but anyway you can approximate this and finally so the page has moved moved up and sideways and then finally one more time here I'm going to move this up one more line and then slice it the same animation I can actually copy this and probably paste it on this clip here let's see what this does uh, it should actually copy the animation the same way you see you can copy animations between clips if they are in the same position and it will apply that so finally the last page should be like that okay so I think I've got it now if you want you can add blur to this page as well but then you're gonna lose a bit of the texture I'm gonna do it let's see what happens select all of them and just add motion blur so now it's a bit blurry as it moves so let's see the animation of course if you want to be hyper realistic you can actually animate the parts where the uh, line changes as well but that is up to you I'm not gonna make this tutorial any longer so there you go typewriter effect you can add a typewriter text um, sound typewriter sounds I found some online I'm not gonna use them on this one but uh, you can include some typewriter sounds in your project and then you know it's gonna be nice and let me show you one final tip one bonus tip this is available only in Camtasia 2021 
you are able to create from all of this animation, you're able to create an asset that you can then reuse. And to do that, that will allow you to actually change these texts that you've added here, individual of these assets. So if you select all of the effect that you've created here, you can group it, control G. It's still gonna work, look, I'm still on the timeline, it's still working. But watch this, in Camtasia 2021, now you have these properties. They are called quick properties and they are available now for every annotation you create in your project. As long as you group it, you have these text fields available. So now if you wanna type a new text in here, Make sure it's the same length on every line because your animation is not gonna you know, do uh, a nice effect if your text is then shorter or longer. I have about 10 letters on every line, 10 characters. So if I try and kind of keep it the same way, all you have to do is just come in here and type new text. So typing new, shift enter, text on this line, on screen kind of thing i think it's almost the same length anyway so i'm going to copy this and paste it in all of these three four why are there four because you remember we split that in three we have three clips plus the one at the end so that's four so there you have it so now i have another text animated on screen without actually touching the asset look at this So isn't that cool? So this is new in Camtasia 2021. Camtasia is exposing these fields that you, you can customize and you can create custom properties in your assets. So now if I wanted to add this to my library, I can right click and add this group to the library. And then every time I wanna use this effect, I can just drag it from my library, change the text in these boxes here without ever opening this group. So this is a, a nice uh, bonus tip. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for your time. I know it became a long tutorial, so the effect was kind of in the first part and now we, I showed you some nice cool tricks. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like it, share it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't, don't forget, there is a link in there for Camtasia 2021. When it comes out, you can click that, download a free trial copy or if you want to buy it, this is an affiliate link. So you will be supporting my channel to uh, enable me to make more videos. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.